This is XDA Developers TV. Today I'm reviewing an app for you that turns your phone into an FTP server. I'm gonna demo it on the Galaxy S3 and I'm gonna to try to connect to it using the MyTouch 4G. But it's not just a regular FTP server. It's an FTP server that you can access over Wi-Fi if you're at a location that has that Wi-Fi or you can access it over your phone's 3G connection. Let's go ahead and dive in. The app was originally featured on the XTA portal site by Jerdoc. He describes the app's function and lets you know that you have something that your iOS friends don't. So let's open up the thread by the Muzz, who was, was originally posted um, on the XTA forum. And it goes into a little bit of the same explanation as what Jerdoc put in on the uh, XTA portal uh, article. So let's go ahead and open up the uh, actual app itself on the Google Play Store. You just need to look for FTP Server Ultimate by Ice Cold Apps. This is the light version that we're reviewing, but the pro version is also available. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the application on the Google Play Store from your phone. Search for FTP Server Ultimate by Ice Cold Apps. And if you like the application, you can also upgrade. There's information at the bottom of the post. Let's go ahead and open it up. The interface is very simple. You have the options on the top. It explains to you what you can do. You can add a server, start a server, start, stop the server, delete the server, settings, um, the info, and I'll show you uh, a little bit about the information itself. It's actually a very nice tab. It gives you the information as far as what your information are, as far as your Wi-Fi IP and your public IP, and that's what you'll use to provide uh, people with your um, connection information if you're on the go or if you're in the office. For the intent of this experiment, or at least this demonstration, we're going to use the Wi-Fi because it makes things a little bit faster for us. I've already added a server. Um, you normally would just go add. You have the option of adding FTP, SFTP, you know, or dynamic DNS updater. I chose FTP for the for the sake of this experiment, but you're able to customize your connection. Um, just for show you real quick, if you go FTP, it gives you the option of specifying all the different options. You have the settings on one tab. The user is on the other tab. Um, the option to save is not as intuitive as people might think it's not under menu you actually have to hit back so if we were to set up a user an example here we'll go and we'll just keep an anonymous browse so we're going to give them access to let's say to ah, we'll go to account I'm not going to do that but you know actually cancel we'll do uh, where is it where's the sd card here it is we'll just give them access to the sd card so we'll go there. Now there's no menu, so to save, you just have to hit back and hit yes. And that saves your user. And it's the same function in here. So if you wanna save the server, you just name it uh, for the sake of this experiment, and then you just hit back. And that puts you in the position of having a second server. So the top server, if you just wanna delete it, you press and hold, and then you say delete. And for the sake of this experiment, I've already set one up, I've called it XDA. We'll go ahead and start the server, and we'll go ahead and switch to having both phones. So on the MyTouch 4G, we'll go ahead and just open up a standard FTP client. I've already configured the uh, server itself on the left on the, on the Galaxy S3 and called it XDA. I'm calling it an XDA test on the right side. We'll just say connect. And this is also one of the nice features of the FTP server ultimate. You get to see what are the activities on your FTP server. Now, out of the box, I gave myself access to the SD card, very simple. You can go here, I can select, I can go into folders, I can go out, it'll refresh. Again, you can see the log on the left side. And for the sake of this experiment, we'll go ahead and try to send myself a, a file over FTP just to, for the sake of testing. We'll find something that we're able to, let's just send this one. Yes, upload. You can see the transfer on the bottom. It works very nicely. It transfers the file over the Wi-Fi network, at least you know for this experiment. And once it's done, it shows you the log on the left side and very simple. And then here it is, hccdriver.exe. That's the file I transferred over. I like the application itself. It works very nice. It worked very well on the Galaxy uh, S3 and it connected very nicely from the MyTouch 4G. I did set it up so that you didn't have to have a username and password, so that was the anonymous login part of it. You do have the option of setting those up. You don't have to actually just have it as an open access information. The ability to use it over 3G and Wi-Fi makes it more flexible than some of the other applications on the market. I just want to keep 
you know, maybe just keep in mind that this is not a comparison to another application on the market. It's a review for the application itself. So uh, the app itself is available on the Google Play Store. Please download and check it out. Adam and Jordan both made some comments on the application itself. Um, Jordan mostly being able to access it over different multiple operating systems made it a flexible application to have. And um, it's just one of the things that just makes it very flexible. It has security and flexibility, which is some of the other applications don't necessarily always have. Uh, check it out, download, see how it, how it goes for you guys. Remember that this weekend is the big Android barbecue and uh, look for Jordan, Adam, and Erica at the barbecue if you're going there. Um, I have some more videos coming out soon on my channel. Please check that out. The link's in the description. And I hope you guys are liking this. Like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week.